We are announcing today a racketeering indictment against eight individuals who are members or associates of the 2-6 Nation Street Gang. The 2-6 Nation originated in Chicago along 26th Street, thus the name. Uh, a local affiliate was formed on this side of the border and its criminal operations were centered here in East Chicago. This indictment that we unsealed this morning alleges that the 2-6 Nation is a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in murder, attempted murder, robbery, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, kidnapping, and narcotics trafficking. And once again, I want to send my message to those who are members of or who continue to associate with violent street gangs. We are coming after you and you are next. Um, criminals don't respect borders and, and so neither can we. Um, our two prosecutors offices along with our colleagues at the Justice Department are completely in sync. You know when um, violent street gangs like the 2-6 move drugs and guns and violence from Chicago to East Chicago to Bolingbrook and back, uh, we will follow. My office, Dave's office, DEA, ATF, FBI, the Chicago Police Department, the uh, East Chicago Police Department, we will follow. And the violent street gangs uh, are on notice. This week's indictment with its listing or charging of numerous violent acts and murders, including crimes dating back 22 years, proves once again that the Department of Justice, working with state and federal investigators, will aggressively pursue these cases and bring violent gang members to justice. I lived here all my life. I was born here. I raised my family here. My kids went to school here. And my mother, 96 years of age, lives about five blocks from here. I'm here in this community all the time. Um, and all I can say is I appreciate all the individuals up before you. There's so many law enforcement officers who are not here today who have participated and helped in trying to make our community better. We have an obligation, and we understand that as law enforcement officers, we have an obligation to make your community better, make it safe for our children. You can walk down the streets, they can frequent any type of park or any type of programs that goes on in our community without any violence and without any drug uh, exposure or human life exposure being taken. And we're going to continue to do that. I'm going to certainly, my office is going to continue to work with everyone up here as, as well as a lot of state agencies to ensure that we do whatever we can to make our community safe. Thank you.